let's start. So hello everyone. Let us see what are we going to learn today in our fractions video. So let us unveil our video. Oh, so today we are going to learn equivalent fractions. So first, before going into the definition, let us first understand what is equivalent fractions. Suppose you order a pie. And it's cut into two pieces. And you ate one half of the pie. And next day, you order another pie. Which is the same size, okay? Now this pie was cut into four pieces. But you ate two slices of that. So, do you think did you eat the same amount or was it different? Well, if you see, if, they were, if the circles are the same size, you actually ate the same amount because this is suppose 1 over 2 and this is 2 over 4. Now suppose if you cut this into 4 pieces, you see you actually ate 2 over 4 slices if we cut this into 4 pieces. This is equivalent fractions. These are the kind of pairs or these are kind of fractions where actually numbers are different but the amount is same. If we, if we multiply this everything by 2, we get 2 over 4 which is the same thing as this fraction. So these are equivalent fractions and these kind of fractions will be a lot in your question papers, in your exams and tests. So we need to learn how to deal with these kind of fractions. So suppose in an exam, you will get a question like this 1 over 2 is equal to something over 6. So now we need to know what is the equivalent fraction that has the same value but the denominator is 6. So we first need to check what is the relationship between the denominator of the first fraction and then the second fraction. So uh, 2. Does a uh, 6 come in two, 2's uh, multiplication table? Can uh, two go, can uh, two go in six? Two times three is equal to six. So that means we need to multiply this whole fraction by three to get a fraction where we will have a denominator of six. So one over two. You need two times the numerator by three, the denominator by three. So you know two by three gives us six. One by three will give us three. So one over two is equal to three over six. Let's do another problem. So suppose you have 3 over 4 and you need to convert it something into 16. Something that has a denominator of 16 and it should be the same amount as 3 over 4. I recommend you to pause the video and try it out. I hope you have paused the video. So now we need to first see if uh, 4 can go into 16. Well 4 times 4 is equal to 16 as we know from our multiplication tables. So 4 times 4 will give us 16. We need to also multiply the 3 by 4. So 3 times 4 which will give us 12. So 3 over 4 is equal to 12 over 16. So always when these kind of problems come, always first check what is the relationship, what is the multiplication between here. And when you find what you have to multiply by, you have to multiply the whole fraction, the numerator and the denominator with the number. So here there was 3 over 4, we multiplied the numerator with 4 and denominator with 4 to get the equivalent fraction of this. 3 over 4 and 12 over 16 represents the same amount of uh, slices or say it's, it has the same uh, value, but actually it, it has different numbers. The amount, of the, th the amount of an object is same, but it's just the numbers, the numerator and the denominator is different. This is equivalent fractions. Thank you everyone. Make maths your friend.